Hello, I'm Gus Frederick from the Davenport Project. I'm here to talk about our new Kickstarter project, the publication of the Annotated Cartoons by Davenport, originally released in 1898. Let's return to a time before the turn of a century long ago. In some ways, a simpler time. In others, much harder. In 1898, global society was in transition. Technological advances, fueled by a seemingly endless supply of carbon-based energy sources, helped spawn an increasing supply of new wonders. At the same time, a quarter century of continued growth helped channel the wealth of the world into the pockets of a minority of corporate controllers. A new media paradigm emerged as the Gilded Age morphed into the progressive era. Advances in reprographics technology coupled with an expanding rail-based distribution system, enabled the peppering of vast numbers of citizens with the same messages. And often these messages were most effective when they were in visual form. A new generation of artists grew into this high-tech system to apply their talent and ink toward this maturing field of social caricature, satire, and parody. The illustrated weeklies gave way to the illustrated dailies, as ever more sophisticated compositing machines, photo engraving techniques, and printing presses facilitated the mass production of printed materials. At this moment in history, one of these artists published a collection of his work. Homer C. Davenport had already been working for William Randolph Hearst for half a decade when he published his first book, a collection of over 80 of his cartoons from Hearst's New York Evening Journal. Davenport's book featured just his cartoons and captions, documenting a three-year sliver of time between 1895 and 1897. Cartoons by Davenport relived the 1895 Venezuelan boundary dispute with Great Britain, the contentious U.S. presidential campaign of 1896, and the battle of the political machines as New York City was being consolidated into a single political entity in 1897. Davenport, however, left us no commentary or information, just his art and their associated brief and often vague captions. More than a century later, the faces and the issues they represent have, for the most part, been lost in the mists of time to all but the most diehard historic geeks. This leaves the rest of us with a book full of amazing art and many mysteries. Who was Dollar Mark Hanna? And what about Boss Platt and his anti-cartoon bill? These questions and more were screaming for answers. In 2006, with the power of modern research tools, members of the Davenport Project meticulously researched and compiled this annotated version of Davenport's classic work. Utilizing many different online sources, we've been able to tease out these hidden stories and more. Since 2006, that initial limited edition of just 100 copies has been reworked, professionally edited, and republished in a new expanded edition. And now you can help reintroduce Davenport and his work through this Kickstarter project. Our goal is simple, to raise enough money to obtain an ISBN number, get into the Library of Congress, and its adjunct distribution system, Amazon.com, and finally, to print an initial run of 200 copies of the annotated cartoons to reintroduce a new generation to the sometimes caustic, sometimes humorous, and always artistic world of Homer C. Davenport, late of Silverton. What's in it for me, you may well ask. And we have a number of different funding levels for you to examine with a variety of different incentives. Check out this Kickstarter proposal and let us know what you think. Thank you. Your assistance is most appreciated.